Hi guys, welcome to my very first how-to video. So I went looking around and I couldn't find any videos at all on YouTube, on Google, on anything on how to set an Azron up for World of Warcraft. So I decided what the fuck, I will be the first. So if you find this video helpful, please, please, please do me the favor of smashing a thumbs up or you guys can check me out live on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Loki gaming thank you guys and enjoy the video so as you guys can see the Azeron looks fucking complicated but let me assure you it is not out of everything that I've learned how to use this is the easiest thing I've I've picked up takes a little bit of time takes a little bit of getting used to but for world of warcraft it is simple 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 so without further ado let's jump right into it i'm gonna show you guys how to set this thing up okay so let me start this off by saying these key binds are not set in stone you can do them any way that you want to do them let your creative minds run wild Okay, so I have this thing set up a way that is comfortable for me. Um, it may not be comfortable for somebody else. So um, I am using a Razer Death Adder V2. Um, and we have the we have the Azeron Classic uh, large because I have extremely big hands. Um, it fits it very, very well. Uh, I, I opted in for the uh, for both hand rests just so I could feel which one was better for me. I favored the curved one more than I did the flat one. So, like I said, that's again personal preference. That is on you guys. But yeah, so let's get into setting this thing up. Okay, so we're going to start with the analog stick, which is going to be our main source of movement. When you click on the analog stick, you have three different options. You have the Xbox 360 analog stick, the analog joystick, or the keyboard. You're going to want to click on the keyboard. Now, whether your Azeron is left-handed or right-handed will decide whether you need to bind your keys to the left or the right stick. If you were left-handed, you have a left-handed Azeron, then it will be on the left and if you have a right-handed one then it will be on the right mine is a left-handed one so we are going to use the left now we're going to start out with w a s and d which is my default binds in game as you guys can see for movement let me go ahead and click OK. Now, the, the advantages of using WASD in-game versus the other way that I'm going to show you guys in a second is that it turns your camera. When you're using regular WASD, it'll turn your camera. If you hold your left mouse button, It'll stop your camera, so it'll focus on one point. If you hold your right, you can move the camera as you go along, so it makes for a lot smoother movement. But WASD on the joystick, it feels natural. I mean, it still feels just as nice as it would, you know what I mean? Moving it back and forth. But the advantage is it turns your camera. Now, let's open up the the software again. And we're going to go back in. The cool thing about Azeron's is they allow you to have not one, not two, but three keybinds. But we're only going to focus on two of them. Okay, so we're going to go back into the software. Where we keybound W, A, D, and S. 
and we're going to change left to Q and right to E, which left is my default bind for strafe left, and E is my default bind for strafe right. So we're going to go in here, and what this does is it allows you to move in that angle. Go forward or in that angle. Make this small enough so you guys can see the characters. Actually, I don't even have to do that. I'm just gonna move this over and I'm gonna throw a filter on here, chat. There we go. Okay. So now you guys can see what I'm doing in game as well. Alrighty. So this allows this allows you to strafe left and right. But what it doesn't do is it does not move your camera anymore. So that is the downside. Now you can use your mouse right click to move your camera as you go along for smoother movement. You just hold it down and move your mouse around. And it looks pretty smooth. As long as you're not shaky with your mouse, you should be okay. Um you can left click it and again you know circle your character but it doesn't move your character in the position that you're going like the right click does so right clicks are definitely better than the left for movement now here is the fun part we're going to go back into the software i'm going to open this back up and now we're going to add two binds. So we're going to use Q and A, which is strafe left and then movement left. And then we're going to go right E and D, which is strafe right and movement right. We're going to leave up and down the same. And we're going to go ahead and accept that. And let's see what that does in game. So now we have the ability to strafe left and right and without having to move our mouse hand, we can still turn our camera and still strafe at the same time, which gives us the ability to make these very perfect, beautiful circles. Okay, so now that we have got our movement binds pretty much down, I, I prefer to use Q and E instead of the double bind and the only reason is because I, I prefer to move the camera myself so it's just my personal preference if you're a new player I prefer you go with the double bind but it will feel pretty smooth to you regardless trust me this keypad is amazing so now we are going to go into this button here which are these here, which is up, down, left, and right on this little joystick thing here. All right, so what I did for this is I bound it to what I had my stances bound to because I'm, I'm main a druid, so I like being able to switch into my form very easily without having to to like really go out of my way or press any buttons or anything so uh to go to the keybinds right here i have this bound to control one this bound to control two this to control three four and five so on here we're going to go keyboard and it allows you to again put in a bind so we're going to go control one and then uh, my bad chat I put it on the wrong one i'm going to go here and go control one and then here we're going to go control two here we're going to go control three here we'll go control four and then I don't really put five in there because it's a travel form, so it's no need. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and now what I'm able to do is switch into my 
my forms with just the simple touch of a button. And a button that is also very close to my joystick, so while I'm moving I can I can double click my left and right mouse buttons together, which causes you to auto run, and then I can change my form in the meantime. Now before we get out of these joysticks, this is my personal preference, but I take the center click and I make that my map so that that is always on hand, never far away. Um, the joystick also has a click on it, if you guys didn't know, and that also causes a keybind, which you guys can see it on screen. We're going to keybind the, the joysticks keybind to spacebar and that's because I like to use it to jump very fluid jump okay so we're gonna start with the first four keys call these the pullbacks right you can see them one through five here or one through four here four little phalanges so I like to use it just as it goes. Keyboard one, two, three, four. This is where it's tricky. This one is my five. This is then my six. Seven, eight, and nine. Now, on the back of these, you will see on the back of the the keys, you will see these buttons. So you have the pullbacks, then you have the press downs, which are the ones in the middle. You can press these with your fingertips, all four of them. And then you have the push-ups, I like to call them. Go up, 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 up. These will be the, the ones that you're pressing with your fingers. So, you're going to buy, I bind seven to my ring finger instead of my pinky, instead of starting it over there. And the reason that I do that is because my pinky is my least used finger probably, so I like to use my ring finger a lot better. Um, it's just like I said, per personal preference. So we're going to bind this to zero. We're going to bind this one to that, and this one to that. Okay, so now we have all of these, and they also work in game, just like that. One, two. I require a target. I do not have a target. See, without target something first. if we were using the double keybind method, we wouldn't even need a mouse for more than just a click. Wouldn't even need it for our camera. I prefer to have it for the camera, but that's like I said, personal preference. So now that we have all of these bound. I require a target. We're going to get into the the next line, which you have one, two, three, four more keys above those. These are a little bit harder to reach, so I bind them to things that I would not necessarily use as much, like my bag, my inventory, my dungeon finder, things of this nature. The first side right here. I used this for I, which again, personal preference, you guys do it any way that you want to. Um, this one I use in, which in game you can see, pulls out my dungeon finder, or my talents. And this one pulls out my dungeon finder. So it's always a push away, never have to go pretty far from it. 
Um, I have this one bound to B so that I can open my bags at the push of a button. I have this one bound to C so that I can look at my character whenever I want to. Then I have this one bound to escape so that I can get out of whatever I need to do. Now, I need to what that allows me to do fast. is it allows me to press whatever I want to. My keybinds are still developing, same as everyone else's should be. It's a new key, new gaming pad. It's not super new, but it's it's pretty nice now. That you have your Azeron bound, you can go around playing with it. You know, right? As I said, make sure if you are running this setup to bind your mouse button to shift and alt the two buttons on your side if you have more buttons than that then kudos to you this is just the easiest way that i have found and as you guys can see we just go straight into it if i need to burst i just hold this blah blah boom see how i'm saying it's at see what i'm saying the shift and the alt it comes in so clutch oh we gotta we gotta put on stones here stone bark Now, now that we have all this bound, we're going to pull off real fast and we are going to set up this last one here, which is the button that you can see being clicked, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to set this up. I like to set this up to the equal sign and the reason is when I am in bear form, I like to apply my iron fur with this button. So. I like to use that as the only thing that I really have double bound, but it is so nice to have it there and just to be able to just click it like that in the middle of the combat, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can still be hitting my thrust, I can still be hitting my swipe, I can still be hitting my moon fires, you know what I mean? And then if I need to growl, boom, hit the growl, if I need to... Hit him with that interrupt. Boom. Hit up the interrupt. Say I got to fucking throw the Ursa lock out there. Boom. We're on there. Now we have these over here. We didn't forget about those chat. Now these are all alts. And I have these bound to alt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine as it correlates to this here. So if I wanted to do stampeding roar, I just hold the alt button. Boom. Saying if I want to do my door of shadows, all button one. Oh. All button one. Door of shadows complete. And you can, but like I said, chat, you can bind these to anything that you want. But these are what I found best for me. Um, that about does it. If you guys enjoyed this, like I said, please smash that like and come check us out every day we're live on facebook at facebook.com forward slash loki gaming